by me being sober for so long, I've learned how to navigate through my own mind. Kind of like, what do you call it? Like when you go on the computer and you go through search, right? You go to the search bar and then your computer like looks for whatever you need to do, right? What I'm saying is I've learned how to do that over the last couple of years, maybe like the last 10 years, I've learned how to go. Okay, I got it. Now, like my memories are so vivid. My memories are extremely vivid. I could remember everything down to the exact clothing I was wearing. I can remember everything back to everybody that was there. I can remember everything almost to like back to when I was maybe like six months. I can remember all the way back to like six months. And the furthest memory I can remember, and I've told y'all this numerous times, the furthest memory I can remember, and I'm, and when I told my mom this, she was like, "How the fuck you remember that?" And I was like, "I remember it like it was yesterday." I was maybe about six, seven months. My mom then was at church. The name of the church is Greater Bethany Church. Right? No, no, no. It wasn't Greater Bethany. It was another church, and I think it was on like Vermont or something. Right? My mom then was in the bathroom getting ready. My mom, my auntie April, and um, my auntie, like all my, my aunties was in the bathroom getting ready. They was all putting on makeup. I remember this like I was a kid. It was all putting on makeup. I'm just like, what the fuck y'all putting on y'all face? Right? I was a kid, but I'm like, we're at church. I knew we were at church, and I knew this was like a good place to be. But in my mind, I'm like, why are y'all putting this stuff on y'all face? I'm, I'm like six months. I remember just looking at them in the mirror. Everybody in the mirror putting lipstick on. I remember this shit like it was yesterday. And my mom dropped me off at the kids club. Like, the, you know, the little babysit daycare shit. I remember I got to the daycare. All the kids were crying. Everybody was crying. I remember sitting right there. Everybody were crying. And I was looking at the kids. And, what are y'all crying for? Mom's going to come back. This is what I was, I was trying to say to them. But I don't think I had the words. I don't even know how to use my mouth like that yet. I'm like, yo, why are y'all crying? Why are y'all crying? Moms are going to come back. So I started giving kids toys. Like, whatever toy I had, I remember, like, just holding a toy out like that. Like, anybody want a toy? I remember this. When my mom, when I told my mom about this, she couldn't believe it. She's like, wait, how the fuck do you remember that? Like, and remind you, one of my aunts was also the daycare provider. So when they even brought it up, when I brought it up to them, she's like, how the fuck you remember that? Remind you, they remember it too once I broke it down to them. When I, when I told them, they was like, how the hell you remember that? It was like six months. I was like, I just remember. So the thing is, right, it's very easy to go backwards inside of your mind. You have to find a trail. It's a trail. The thing is, look, I know there's a lot of people saying, how? How do you remember that far back? And that's the problem. The truth is, how do you not remember that far back? These are the questions we got to ask ourselves. Instead of saying, how do you remember that far back? The real question is, how do you not remember that far back? That's a real question. No, that's, that's an actual real question that you have to ask yourself. How do you not Remember that far back. Don't ask how do you, how do you not? For me, every moment of my life, I looked at it as an extreme moment. Everything that happened, I looked at it as an extreme moment. The thing with some people is when y'all go through things that you feel scare you or are you afraid of or you don't really like what you do is you tuck them, them memories and one thing about those memories is they create black holes right if you tuck a memory like if it's something that you really don't want to remember no more and you tuck that memory 
it creates a black hole inside your mind. And there's other things that get sucked into that black hole that you don't want in that black hole. So some memories fade away. Day by day memories fade away. Me, I think my hard drive inside my head is like maybe full or possibly going to be full because I have this weird thing that I remember everybody that walked by me. Like I've always had a very good photo, what do you call it, photogenic memory? I've always had a very, very good photogenic memory. I can remember a distant moment. I can remember every, every, I can literally remember everybody that walked by me. Like if I see somebody again, I'm like, yo, like for example, when we be at Disneyland, I see the same people, as much as many people it is at Disneyland, I keep seeing the same people. I'm like, I remember that person by the boom. Okay, I remember this whole group of people. Blah, blah, blah. Like, how the fuck they over here, right? There's a lot of people here, but how the fuck I keep remembering everybody? Like, I have a very, very good photographic or photogenic, whatever the fuck you call it, photographic memory, whatever the fuck you, photogenic. Photogenic is like you're like in the pictures, whatever, whatever. So photographic memory. I have a very good photographic memory. And... I think that came from one of my skills, which is drawing. Like I can draw very, very good. Right? Like very, very good. Like I can look at something and I can draw it. So I think over my many years of drawing, yes, I said it. I can draw very good. I can do everything very like I'm very good at literally everything. I'm just not the best at certain things. But I'm like like if if I had a two K rating player I'd be like 95 at everything. Like, like literally everything down the line, I'd be 95. I just, I'm not a 99 at nothing. Right? All right. Now, when you draw, when you're an artist or you're a painter or whatever, you know what you do. You take a picture, you snap the picture in your mind, then you transfer the picture from your mind to your arm to your fingertips, and it prints out like a printer. This is actual, this, this happens, right? When you're drawing, like, you got to really think. It's like a pinner. you like, your mind goes, and then the image goes from inside your head, through your arm, out your fingertips, like a printer, bro. Like an actual printer. Like, I don't think people really look at it from that perspective, but that's exactly what's happening. So... When you really, like, when me, like I said, I had a very, very good photo, photographic memory coming up. So, like, now when I see things, I, like, blink and I lock it in, lock it in, lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. When you start to understand the eye, right? The eye is the iris, right? The blink is the shutter, right? Or shutter close or whatever, right? When you zoom in. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you all how a camera works. And I want you all to do this right now. The eye literally works like a full frame or a medium format 50 millimeter. You have two medium format 50 millimeter lenses. They work exactly the same. Maybe 24 millimeters. But the eye also has the ability to go. It's like a kind of like a small telephoto lens. Like it has the ability to go from a zoom lens to a 50 right you can go from i mean it has ability to go from like a fucking 10 millimeter or maybe an 8 millimeter wide angle lens to a 50 millimeter lens within a set it's the same exact way also your eye goes from 1.8 these are all camera shit your eye goes from 1.8 to nigga whatever actually you go it go deeper than one point you got like a 0.0.1 lens right so i'm gonna give you a test right now Put your finger in front of your face, but look past your finger, right? Your finger is out of focus. Look at your finger. What happens? The background gets blurry. Look at your finger. Right in front of your... Look at your finger. Like, put it like that far in front of your face. And look at your finger. What happens? The background gets blurry. The depth of field. Is the same way a camera work. A camera work exactly the same way. 50 millimeter lens works exactly the same way. When you look like that and you blink, every time you blink, right? So hold your finger in front of your eyes and look at your finger and focus out the background, right? The background is blurry. When you blink, you can still see your finger a little bit. It takes a picture, bro. Every blink is a picture. You just don't know.
You just don't know where the picture goes or how to save it or how to access it. Every blink is a picture. Like, so when you blink, it's a picture. You can still see your finger, but the memory starts to fade away, right? And you don't really know where it goes because the memory is going backwards. But it has to fade away. These are... It, they are the small, like the little small things that people don't really pay attention to. So what I'm saying is this, right? Everybody has this ability. Everybody, everybody. It's just you have to, you have to realize where the picture goes. Storage. We all have storage. I don't know how many gigs we got. We all got storage. You gotta remember where the picture goes. Me. Over my many years of just really sitting back thinking inside of my own mind, I've been able to navigate through my brain. But one thing I've learned over the years, especially coming up in urban areas, our focus is trauma incidents, aggression field incidents, or stories that will make people look at us aggressively. So these are the things we remember. It's crazy because, all right, so my memory so deep that I remember shit that be putting me in fucked up situations, bro. So I'm going to tell you one thing that hurt me. I'm going to tell you a story that hurt me. I told you all this story before, but I'll tell you again. So I had a childhood friend that I grew up with. His name was Lawrence. It was Lawrence and Tyrone. I don't know if y'all could find them. If you could find the homie Ha Ha and them. Lawrence and Tyrone, these are like my close friends coming up in elementary, right? I remember them because I never, I can't forget them. Right? Tyrone was like my guy, he was a hoop all the time. Lawrence is like my, my guy, right? They used to stay in like a foster home right there off of, what is that? Is that Grandy? I forgot what, but it's like literally right off of, it's like right off of Century, at the end of century, right there by the little flower pot, right right behind Food for Less, they used to stay at like a foster home right there. But anywho, so Lawrence, re- mom, this may be like seven, eight, but maybe like ten years ago. I think it was like ten years ago. I was getting off the train at the Union Station. I seen Lawrence at the Union Station. So I walked up to him. I'm like, Lawrence. He's looking at me. I'm like, Lawrence, what's up, bro? He's looking at me like, who is you? Lawrence, my nigga, it's me, Davon, nigga, 102nd Street School, like, nigga, he like, ah, bro, I don't remember you, I'm like, Lawrence, my nigga, your name Lawrence, right, he's like, yeah, nigga, you Tyrone people, right, yeah, Lawrence, nigga, we used to flip on the monkey bars all day, like, you don't remember, nigga was like, nah, bro, nah, bro, I was hurt, this is my childhood friend, he ain't remember, I was hurt, I said, he must have went through some shit in life where he tucked all his memories. He didn't remember. No, but maybe he went through things in his life that he was like, man, I just tucked certain memories. He didn't remember, bro. Bro was looking at me like I was crazy. I'm like, damn, my memory is too deep. I remember everybody, bro. I remember, I remember my whole class from Lance, Jamel, Antonio, Ozzy, Griselda, nigga, Elizabeth, Meredith. I remember every, bro. I remember everybody. I remember my whole class. I remember my, nigga, one of my first teacher I ever had, Miss Yamaguchi, dog, went to Mark Twain Elementary. I remember her. I remember everybody. I, I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I remember every like every moment of my life. I remember walking through the alley. Like, I remember walking through the alley, going to school. My big brother used to walk us all to school. We, then he used to go to his class to drop us off. I remember all of this shit, bro. But look, I, it's not that I have a good memory.
Don't say that I have a good memory. It's not that I have a good memory. Right? It's not that I have a good memory. It has nothing about a good memory. It's more that I have a practice memory. Right? I have a practice memory, right? My memory is all repetition. Like I've, I've spent many years of my life going, okay, remember this, okay, do that, okay, take that. 